Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Kafa. I'm glad you could be here. If you are here again, it's good to see you again. And this is going to be a really, really good reading because um, the devil lost today. Why did the devil lose? And if you can relate, give it a thumbs up. Um, basically, I had a thought yesterday that said, oh, this is a great time today. It was a good time to set up a reading. And then ever since I had that thought, things just came crashing down. I had one of the hardest days of my life today. And I got home and I said, you know what? I don't even want to do this. And then my eyes shot open. I said, oh, the devil almost won. So it took me from like a half hour from right now. I said, you know what? I'm going to get this done no matter what. So I'm here for you today. And like I said... It's going to be a doozy. So this is the Zenfinity board. And if you've been following me, you know mo you know a lot about it. But it changed up again. So let's get started. This is going to be a collective reading for anybody who's, you know, this is timeless. So when you see it, you see it. What is the difference between the Zenfinity board compared to any other spread? The beauty of it is many readers have a problem in my in my opinion you know i was a person who was on the other side i follow a lot of readers and i listen to them and they help me along the way just like the just like the next person but what i was missing and the reason why i saw this opportunity is because i wanted to be and i wanted to find a way to be more specific and because i was geeking out on so many things in the math and science and the physics world I came on this concept so here we go with it we're going to start off on why it gets uh, specific so these are the questions that you're going to be asking and answering for yourself along the way with the cards so let's go from the order of what you see here first in this triangle right here is the world of emanation we have the world of creation over here we have the world of formation over here and the world of manifestation. So that's the soul, the spirit, the mind, and the body, right? So that's first off. And these, when I place cards on these four locations, right? They will show me who, what, when, where, and why. But when it gets to I, when you say I in your mind, those questions that you have when it comes to anything that you're talking about, anything that you're going through, I. So the first I that you have in your mind is I know. And that starts off with the throat chakra, zero. We, when you look at the tree of life, you see da'at. And the funny thing about that, they say it's not there, but I clearly see it. And like I said, I geeked out on it and I found it and it's here. So this is the place of I know. So what do you know currently, right? So the way it works is after you find out who, what, when, where, and why, you find, um, you look to figure out, you say to yourself, well, I know, or I be, or this is like your role that you play in life. Why are you doing a certain thing? What role are you playing that causes you to do a certain thing? That's your being. So who is the person that you're trying to be? That person, that being. And it goes from there to I want. Now this is Hokma. That was Ket that was the At Keta Hokma, right? Then it's Bina, which is I need, right? Then it's I will on Chesed. On Gebuda is I desire. Then you have Tifra, which is the heart chakra, and this is I love. Holding that sack, which is solar plexus, and that is I do or I act. Right? Then to your side, you have the sacral chakra, and that is I feel and I am at Malkut, right? So after you figure out all of these eyes for yourself, right? This board embodies all of the eyes that you can possibly imagine. So every thought that you have is in this domain. So this is why it's important. 
So after you figure out all the I's, we're going to figure it out together. We go back up the board with the ifs. So now that you figured out everything, you have a good perspective on what it is that you're dealing with at the current moment. Then you go to if I experiment, if I express, if I integrate, if I transcend, and therefore I will ascend. We're going to go back in this one complete circle. So that's the lineup and we're going to get started with it. So I hope you understood that and let's go. So it's going to take me a few seconds to get these cards down and it's gonna happen right about now. <laughs> so I hope that worked perfectly, but we'll see. Um, so I would like to reiterate what I said just really quickly so you can understand what just happened. There's a lot that go that's going on right now and we're gonna get down to it. So who, what, when, where, and why happens in the spirit. So therefore the oracles are here to determine that, right? Then when it comes up to the 10 eyes that you see here, now these eyes are all the eyes that, that are in your mind, all of the perspective that you can possibly hold. So therefore all of the questions and the things like that are here somewhere. So with that being said, it starts off with I know, which is the hermit. Then is I be or the role that you play, which is the four wands, right? Then it is the eight of swords in the place of I want, right? Then you have the queen of pentacles in the place of I need. Then the six of cups is I will. The page of pentacles is I desire. The ten of swords is I love. The nine of cups is I act or I do. The sun is I feel. And the two of wands is I am. In regards to the four worlds that basically you inhabit, you have the world of emanation, which is governed by the shadow card. So we're gonna talk about it. In the world of the spirit, we have guides in the world of your mind, your ego, and things like that, the consciousness, we have relief. And in the world of manifestation, the physical world, we have new life. So let's get down to it, right? Let's get who, what, when, where, and why out the way. Starting with the shadow. So let's get it. So naturally, as you can almost see, this is the symbol of the beast. What is hiding in the dark? What is it that you are afraid of or don't want to see? This card comes to tell you that all cannot be in the light because there must be a balance. Exploring the beast requires you to confront those unhealed parts of yourself, those aspects you deem were unworthy, unworthy, or unlovable. The time is now to bring light into those usually concealed spaces so, they, that, so that they may be healed appropriately and or banished forever. You know, the shadow or the hidden beast is not evil, just misunderstood. However, do tread carefully as you divide as you dive into sensitive territory. All right, so this is in the place of your in, in emanation. So what is emanation? It's more like imagination. Everything that comes from that energy and the before it. So if you can imagine, right, there's something that fuels that imagination happening. So this is where that shadow is coming into play. So your shadow aspect is taking a lead in that area. But when it comes to the shadow on this board and what I discovered, the shadow has a lot of information in it. And it's only a shadow and it's only going to be able to harm you if you decide not to separate the energies of the shadow. So what are the two energies in, in the shadow? There's, well, let me say it this way. It's data and energy. So the energy is the emotion, the energy and motion, right? So... The data behind anything that couldn't trigger you, anything that can hurt you, is just the fact that it is a fact that happened. That's a data, and it's something that you went through. And if you don't decide, and if you decide not to deal with it, it becomes baggage, right? So that data can be used as knowledge, and like we know, knowledge is power. So let's see. So this is basically saying having an emotional control will allow you to piece out what you were supposed to learn back then 
That's what that's talking about right now. So that's in the world of your fire emanation, your imagination. So in order to clear that out, deal with the shadows. It's not as easy as it sounds, right? Um, moving on from there, we have the world of creation, which is the guides, Beria, the spirit. Your spirit guides and ancestors are calling to you now. They surround you with their love and protection and also offer you their wisdom. Allow these helping spirits into your world today. You are not alone. Meditate on this when you need assistance from your spiritual team. Now that's crazy because I literally was in meditation on a train saying like, you know what? I am not alone because I was trying to out talk the words that I had in my mind. Like this is all for nothing everything I'm by myself with this I'm trying to make it through and I need some help but there's no help around to even look for and things like that so what I started to say over those thoughts because those are thoughts in my head I wasn't speaking it I started to say I started to mumble I'm not alone just calm just like that but because that's the truth I'm not because if I believe in spirit I'm not alone if I believe in God I'm not alone we came from heavenly togetherness and we d we decided to have one consciousness out of that so that's the body that you wouldn't have it right now so we are all still connected to that eternal essence right and that right there is just proof that at any time you can just call on it but we have lost touch apparently all this information we hear on how to reach out to that source right Moving on, we have relief in the in a place of the world of formation and this yatsira of the mind. The end of suffering or hard times, a much needed relief or break in the energy, miracles, rescue, and reprieve. Meditate on this symbol when all seems too much. Feel it blast out the negative as you call in the strength to your heart. Okay, so I was literally just talking about that. The relief that comes with actually dealing with what goes, what goes on in your head. Because for split seconds around that time, I was like, oh, you know what? I actually do believe this. So it's possible. It went from impossible in my mind to possible. And that's an energy that can flow. And that's an energy that God can use. Because all stagnant energy, only the devil has access to. You have to be able to move this stuff around. That's why change is so necessary. Because change, you know you're moving around. It might not be physical. It could be mental. Change of relationship. Change of, well, this is physical, but job, locations. It can be an upgrade. It could be a downgrade in your mind. But downgrades, when God takes something for, from you, or when something is taken from you, there's a space there. And this is, God says, oh, snap, I can, I can do something here. Let's do something and put something in this space that was open. It was just open for you to do something with. What are you going to do? You're going to go back into the same slop? Or are you going to grow, achieve, prosper? You know, all the things that you wish during that time. <clears throat> That's where the relief comes in. Going after your dreams. Lastly is the world of manifestation and this is guarded by or guarded i said guarded so your manifestations are guarded for some reason and we're gonna figure out why the new life it makes no sense why is it guarded by new life but maybe that's just a word i need to hear arrival the arrival of new beginnings or the budding start of something beautiful long lasting drawing this car can indicate a need or desire to start over with a sense of childlike wonder what you are beginning will have a strong impact and far reach. Drawing this card can indicate a positive relationship and or experience. So guarding your experiences, that's what it is. Not allowing people to sway what you expected the outcome to be. Even though we have expectations, there's a there's a place in us. There's a there's something in our mind that says, you know what? Even though I expect this. I understand that some of these things won't happen. So when you lead with that, you get hurt less or not at all. Depends on who you are. So guard these new experiences that you believe are heading your way. Don't allow the shadow to take over and, and turn it into a fantasy out of fear. So dreams are created from your soul. Fantasies are created from either fear 
or how you have progressed like how how grow how um it's according to your level of growth <clears throat> how swayed your fantasy is compared to your dream because the fantasy it will get you places it will get you the things that you probably don't need in the long run and you can waste your time and you're probably going to come back i believe in reincarnation so we come back to do these things time and time and time again is this the time that you're going to get it right that's what it is that's the only fear i try to live by anymore is this the time that i get it right because i feel like i knew this before i knew it and then it just called to me now that we have a little bit of who what when where and why in our mind the world around us and what's happening we're gonna go on to i know i be i want i need I will, I desire, I love, I do, I feel, and I am. And when you figure this out, you say, if I experiment, if I express, if I integrate, and if I transcend, then I will ascend. I will grow. I will achieve. So that's the point. We're going to get these energies down from the root, from the crown to the root and back up to the crown. So... That's how you do it. Um, starting off with the hermit card is in the throat chakra, which is Da'at. So this next part is a little bit tricky to understand, but I'll do my best. The 10 black cards represent an elementally energetic grid. So what does that mean? Each card here, as we all know, is suited fire, air, water, earth, right? And each space is has a designated suit or two suits that it needs to be in order to be proper. And when it's proper, the energy allowed, the energy is allowed to run through it in a circuit. So starting with the knowledge, the beginning and the end, you start here and you end off here too. When you do, you get another oracle card, right? The oracle card would tell you how you ascend, right? Starting with the hermit card, the hermit is an earth card, right? So... The fact that it's up here is wrong. It's off suit. These two right here is fire and air. Fire and air does not. Right? So that's the reason why this is off suit. So your knowledge is blocked literally by something that you feel that you need to go to go your own way with. That's specific. We're gonna clarify this with the white cards that I have here. And what this means is I have, well, each card, you can get a few chances. I gave it five chances to basically clear out the energy. So if this is earth, I'm trying to draw a card that's fire or air to clear out this energy. And once I do, the energy can pass to the next point. We're trying to get to a circuit, so it's important. So let's see. The hermit is about contemplation search searching for truth and inner guidance so this is a selfish inner guidance with you thinking that you and spirit and soul and source is not going to work together with it like you got this or your idea is the best how has that worked for you so far are you where you need to be i don't think so hopefully you are but if there's any negativity around you that you really can't handle and it's, you know, in a sense, getting to you, tormenting you in your own mind, out of your own will, then I guess that's something that, you know, needs a little bit of work. Think about why you're called to be here. Okay, these two came out, so let's see. So, more pinnacles and then the high priestess. So... High Priestess is a water card. We're still not finished. We're going to get to it. One more. Too many. All right, so let's see what this means. We started off going your own way 
and it's, it seems like there's a lot that you can give people. There's a lot that you can offer. So since it's you, since you think that there's a lot that you can offer, you think is the right way to go. So you thinking you're sitting in your power, which actually you're sitting in stagnancy, and that's only helping everybody else use you willingly out of your power, thinking that you're doing the right thing, and you feel good about this, and that's crazy. So then this left you a little bit indecisional, and then it put you on your grind. But the grind, it seemed like it wasn't enough. So. This is all an ego thinking that you got it handled. So your knowledge is powerful, but it's up to you to use it. This is a lot of baggage. So starting off with the Six of Pentacles is uh, charity, generosity, and sharing. So as I said before, sharing your knowledge, sharing your wherewithal, sharing basically your gifts and what you know, your, your, your future, even your past experiences with other people and it benefiting them and it benefiting other situations other than yourself. But you think you're winning. That's crazy. The deception is real and the devil is the king of lies. So then away from there for you sitting in your power at the high priestess. And that's inner voice, intuition, divine truth, wisdom, and unconsciousness. Oh, unconscious. So these things happen unconsciously. Like if people ask you for stuff that you know that you can get some clout for, it's unconscious for you to do it because it benefits you in your mind, your fantasy. It helps you in your long run, right? But look where you are now. Is that the place that you imagine yourself being according to where you knew you were, go you were headed. So don't be afraid to look at the direction that you've been heading. Because you can realign it. Went from there to the Two of Pentacles. Which is balancing decisions, priorities, adapting to change. So, your knowledge is so powerful that you're able to hold the cycle longer than most people. So, if you don't want to waste a lot of time, you have to dive right into your fears the things that you don't want to do that's the way that you get what's for you doing the things that you don't want to do and from there left off I ended it with the eight of pentacles because I got the gist of it there is a material blockage in what you know and what you know how that can benefit you in a material sense if it's all about the the wealth and the money and the cars and all this other stuff, what does that look like in the future when you finish with it? Okay, you got it. You've been able to buy it. Now what? The now what factor is screaming at me right now because it seems like this is all a distraction from what? Figure out what it is. That's all in your knowing. So let's move on to what you want which is the eight of swords and this is your archetype of imagination also so it's imagination well not imagination sorry friendship and ambition so starting with the eight of swords this is on the side of earth and fire which makes this all suit also so let's get it this is what you want <laughs> the reason why this is off right it's imprisonment, entrapment, and self-victimization. So, what you're giving away is blocking you from getting where you need to go. That's that's completely exactly what it is. Because it left off with the Eight of Swords, right? And then the Eight of Pentacles. So, it linked up perfectly to, to show you where the problem is. So, let's clarify this really quickly. All right, so the Page of Wands came out and that cleared this. So it's not like you're knowing. It doesn't take much time. It won't take much time and much effort for you to correct what you want in this sense. So the Page of Wands is exploration, excitement, and freedom. Now, what about... I had a question while I was looking this up. And... The question I had was, 
why don't you follow your own advice? If what you know is so powerful, all you have to do, or, or all you have to do, it seems, is to follow your own lead. Even this, even if this is a page, it's the beginning, it's the new thing, right? Well, there's so much I can go into with that, but I think you get what I what that means. So the Queen of Pentacles is on the side of ambition, the dark side, Bina, right? This is a place of need. I need. And this is also offsuit, so I'm gonna turn it. And I'm gonna clarify it really quickly. So the Queen of Pentacles is uh practicality, creature comforts, and financial security. So why is this off? If this is a good card to have in most occasions. But why is this off? Well, it's off because of this area right here, what you know and what you've been giving away. And what you know you've been giving to people and in return has been giving you things because that's just how the universe works. You give and you will receive. But what you've been receiving has been blocking spirit's power because you've been believing that with all of these material help that you didn't need anybody else's help. And that didn't carry over, it didn't just carry over in the uh, physical, it carried over to the spiritual also. So that's a blockage. The magician. So the magician is an air card, right? And that finishes off this run. So let's get the magician really quickly. This is an infinite ability, so infinitely with spirit you can is what I'm going to talk about right now. So infinitely with spirit you can have willpower, creation, mastery, and adaption. Adapting to what? The tricks of the enemy. People will always be there to take from you when you have something to give. So an adaption in this case would be <clears throat> probably adapting to how people come towards you. Or recognizing the weaknesses or you can say the defenses recognizing where you're weak and that in turn will bring you what you need in order to manifest so next up is the will and that's governed by the six of cups this is also offsuit and I'm going to clarify right now so the six of cups is familiarity happy memories and healing now why is this off cups in a place of fire or earth is nothing to use because this is emotional emotions belongs on the sides more on dreams right and your desires and the fuel to get things done it's the fuel to get things done it's the fuel for the fire so when you add more water to it, it only can potentially create more mental baggage in your heart, right? I don't know why that just, oh, wow, because of the hermit card that came out here, right? <clears throat> so the way that this war board works is this is the hermit card that was off, but it showed the connection between will, which is the hermit card, to Tiferet, which is your heart chakra, right? You can look up it. The up the tree of life and you can see it for yourself right <clears throat> yeah so when we get to this explanation we'll understand why your will is off but we're gonna go in order so let's clarify this real quick too many The world card. So, yeah. Powerful, powerful. The world, just like the Page of Wands, the exploration, when you decided to go your own way with your information. The world, everything, your who, what, when, where, and why will change completely. And it's according to your will, your doing. And it'll have this um, confidence that goes to it. <clears throat> so, a world of confidence. A world where you can operate in confidence. 
So fulfillment, harmony, and completion. Naturally, that's kind of what I was getting towards in the first place. But harmony has to do with the rhythm. So when we get to the solar plexus as well, when we get to this area right here, it's gonna it's gonna do a lot in explanation. So moving along, we have I desire, and this is governed by the Page of Pentacles. So this is also off suit because this is Earth in the place of air and water, right? So let's get that. So ambition, desire, and diligence. Now ambition is over here. So ambition and desire is almost like <clears throat> sucking the life out of something that you thought was beautiful before and now it's tarnished. That's it. But this is in your place of desire. So let's see how it's how we um fix this energy. The Fool. So the Fool is the air card, and that fixes this energy because water, air, uh, air and water can be in this one area right here. I hope that makes sense. Um, as well as this one too. <clears throat> um, well, reverse rules, but um, yeah. So let's see what the Fool has to say, and I believe it's gonna give us a good uh, explanation. So this is the card of innocence, new beginnings, wonder, and foolishness. Now, why is this good on this side compared to the six of uh, the page of Pentacles, right? The reason why this is good is is because this guy is free to dream, free to believe in what you believed in your whole life, free to believe in what you should be doing for yourself, free to believe that what you do for other people can benefit you in a different way free to believe that it's just not for everybody else free to believe in your dreams that's what that is you desire the freedom to believe it only requires you to go within and anytime that happens you know this is emotion and this is your mind your mental space or your heart chakra right well, it governs it. So, when your emotions in your mind are in harmony, you figure out what you need. So, discern what you're feeling and what you desire will show itself. So, you desire that freedom, right? Moving on, we have the Ten of, Cup, the Ten of Swords. So, this was the one that was connected with the world. In I will So let's see what that has to say This is on suit So there's nothing to uh, Clarify So this is a good energy to have <clears throat> So this is telling me that the space Required For you to do what's needed to be done You have it And if something was recently Taken from you That's the reason Because you now have the space to do something That you were called to do or you can decide, you know, we all have free will to go back to your vomit, back to that slosh, that, that slop, that that stuff that you were in before, the cycle. That's what it is. You have a choice to go back to the cycle, but you're not going to do that. And that's what that energy is giving me right now. So congratulations, you know, and big yourself up once in a while. Like there are certain things that you never went back to that you said you were never going to go back to and you haven't. So even when you are where you are right now, it seems like it's heavy. That's the result of doing the right thing. All right. So Ten of Swords. Failure, collapse, and defeat. Now, why is this good? The reason why it's good is what it's connected to. You were doing so much for other people that failing in that venture... All the time that you used and the energy and effort and the imagination that you used on other people has nowhere else to go but for yourself, to yourself. And what do you think is going to happen? You're going to start having these bright ideas, these little 
nudges in what you do normally that's gonna have these major benefits. So figure out the little things that you can do that have major benefits, right? And it involves your failures. So it's 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 cool. Just look at where you fail and figure out why. And this is in a place of I love. I love to figure out my failures. I love to figure out what it was all for. Yeah, that's what that is. All right. In the play, the sacral chakra, we have I do or I act. This has to do with your rhythm. And basically, the things that you do, your habits that you keep up. According to what you know so far. But remember, we haven't finished all of the perspectives yet. So we haven't had the whole picture. But we're getting to it. Um, in the sacral chakra, we have the nine of cups. This is offsuit because it should be fire, right? But this is being emotional in the time when you need to be doing things. You need to have habits. You need to be up and on your feet. Instead, you're sitting there being emotional, thinking that this is the thing to do, right? Instead of being emotional, deal with the problem. So... Nine of Cups is satisfaction, emotional stability, and luxury. Now, this is all in the present time and currently. So, imagine this is the still life of your current life. And I took a picture of it, and these cards painted that picture. So, in that still life, we're explaining some of the past things that we already discussed before. But, it has a meaning. It has a purpose. Satisfaction, emotional stability, and luxury. Now, these are the emotions you gain from other people doing things for other people. Yeah, they're going to make you feel good. Yeah, because you're a well of whatever they need. They just come to you and get that water and be about their business and go plant their crops, plant uh, water they uh, fields. You understand. It's just what, what they do. And you just sit there, love being a well, giving away all your energy, giving away all your goods. For what reason? So let's see why this is, um, how this can be corrected. <coughs> the Knight of Swords. The Queen of Wands. All right. So. Let's see what the Knight of Swords had to say. So this is a wrong energy to have. This is a negative energy to have in this area too. But it's for it's for clarification of whatever's going on. Um, action, impulsiveness. And, action, impulsiveness, and defending beliefs. So you are willing to defend why you do what you do and how that's going to lead you to your dreams only because that's a false fantasy that overrides your dream so once you realize your dream what you were fighting for before it wouldn't really matter so much yeah so that ended off with the queen of wands and it's fire so let's see what it says so this is courage determination and joy Now, this is in the place of your habits and rhythm. Courage, determination, and joy. That's the best energy to have when you want to get something done. The courage and the confidence that I was just talking about before is coming up, coming back up. The courage to do those things that you think is foolish. But you know, through all the failures, the now known failures, you know that it will benefit you. And it's not just foolish. It was new to you and new to the world. You had to discover it. So for some reason, I skipped the four of wands. But that's literally what crowns the reading. And I just noticed it. So this is actually on suit, your being. And let me read it. The role you play. So nothing is by accident. Community, home, and celebration. 
this is your being. This is what you naturally gravitate towards at the end of the day. This is your at the end of the day person you're going to be, regardless of any situation. So you're going to be in a state of community, home, and celebration. You got the love around you from people, from, I don't want to say things, but you have good habits, right? You have very good habits, naturally. You would gravitate towards those habits when everything starts to get shaky. So, yeah. So that really kind of explains that, but hopefully this can give you an idea of the role that's best fitted for, for this situation right now. So moving on, we have in your side, which is I feel, is the sun. Now, the sun is a beautiful card. Anytime the sun comes out, it's beautiful. But this is the sun over the moon. But it's on top of it. So it's not like it's eclipse, but that's what it's giving me right now. So that eclipse energy is coming out when it comes up to the sun. Let's see what it says. Now, why is this bad to have in this location? Joy, success, celebration, and positivity. This is shrouding yourself with those emotions that make you feel those kinds of joyous and feeling good about everything. Life is great. Uh, uh, let me get a thousand, 15 million likes on this thing because I'm so great and I need it again tomorrow because I won't feel so great if I didn't have it. You see how it becomes an addiction. Whatever you do to amass these feelings will become an addiction. Whatever you're doing. Addiction is not just drugs. It's habits. You have habits because you feel certain kinds of ways. And you have certain knowledge that leads you to do certain things. But it's up to you to fix it. So what will you do? What is the energy that can clarify this? When it regards to your feelings. Nine of Wands. The Sun again. Oh. Alright. And then it ended off with the Ten of Cups. This is this is good. This is good. So the sun was here. And then some fire came out. So this is a place of water. And the sun burnt up all that energy. And so did the fire. And then the sun came up again. So you doubled back. You went back to something. But recognized it wasn't good. And then when you did that. You recognized all the things that you go back to. Because of your habits. And you end up in a place where you're fulfilled, when you're fulfilled emotionally. It's all in recognition of what you already have around you. And what benefits you and what doesn't. So keeping a watchful eye is coming up right now. So let's see what it says. So the nine of wands came up and this is off. So resilience, grit, uh, and taking the last stand. Now, if your ego, which is of the fire, is in the control of your emotions, right? Taking the last stand is a very stubborn and ignorant energy to have when you want to deal with emotions because you're going to say no I'm going to do this I'm going to do this because it hurts I'm going to do this I'm going to do this because I know this works it's it, like even even if sometimes the answer that you have is not the right thing even if it seems like it so you double back to what you know and it didn't lead you anywhere or this is what your energy says that you do. Yeah. And from there, we have the Ten of Cups. So everything that we talked about before was outer. And the reason why the Ten of Cups is important because it says inner happiness, fulfillment, dreams coming true. As I said before, the dreams are on this side and it will always reflect on this board. The cards talk to this board. The cards were meant to be on this board. And Zenfinity is for, you know, any reader who's interested. So we could talk about it. If you're interested, 
my email is there. So let's move on. Um, inner happiness, fulfillment, and dreams coming true. As I said before, when you got, when you turn your eye inward to who you are and what you really know, and what you came or what you think you came here to do, what you think you came here to do, ha- always has to do with how you can help. Because people pray every day And then God sends angels But the crazy thing is There's a lot of talk of us being God too So we are a piece of God That comes down To bless people So what happens if your gift Can be a business that blesses people Start there If you are confused Start there because God will be like, oh, you want to do something? The ideas will flow because there's a lot of people who need help. <laughs> there's a lot of people who need help. Just before I started this, I didn't have nothing to say. And then once I, once I decided the second time to do this, because I said the devil wasn't going to win, my shadow wasn't going to win, the ideas started to flow. A whole new concept came just like this. It was given to me, right? So, yeah. Moving on from there, we have the Two of Wands, and this is also offsuit in the place where Earth should be. Now, this is burning bridges, burning opportunities. That's what that's giving me right now. So let's get it. So planning, making decisions, and leaving home. Leaving home in this aspect? When you think of the divine masculine and the divine feminine, right? The divine feminine is more castle. The divine masculine is more kingdom. Everything outside the castle. Everything inside the castle, everything outside the castle. But understand that you are the temple too. So you you and yourself are home. I don't know how to say that differently. (laughs) I hope that makes sense though. Um, But yeah... Planning, making decisions, and leaving home is the two of wands. And when you decided to turn away from what you know about yourself, so many things, so many opportunities that God aligned for you to just take, like almost like a high five, a tag, tag me in. You didn't take it because you couldn't see it. Because you were looking at your fantasy as something that won't benefit you. It will only... It's temporary. So let's see how this energy clears right now. Four of Cups. Not yet. It's emotional. The star, not there yet. That's air in a place of earth. So, with this analogy, you can understand that we're cooking. So, this is the place to put something in there to be cooked. The actual ingredients. So, you have no ingredients here, only extra heat. So, whatever you put in there, already is going to get burnt up. And this has to do with I am. So I am going to mess up my opportunities. Maybe you have a pessimistic outlook to things. Thinking more positively will allow yourself to do more positive things. It's almost like you can train yourself, fake it, and you, then you'll make it. So burning your opportunities left you in an emotional state. And you didn't want to take any opportunity. You see him sitting here. Even though the opportunity from God is still sitting there. Waiting for you to take it. Like it ever left. It was always there for you to just say. Oh. I can just do this now. Right in the middle of your troubles. Just Once you started. Troubles will almost disappear. Because now you decided to help. And you got some work to do. God going to push everything else away. It's not going to be easy. You're going to feel like you lose a lot. But, like I said before, losing is giving space to God to fill it. And then you had your star power. 
but you decided to eat or oh, let me keep clarifying it's not finished yet so the hierophant <coughs> Almost couldn't even speak on that one. So that clarified that area. And that means that this energetic grid is now complete. The energy is now flowing from the crown to the root. And what we're going to do with it is talk about the ifs. If I experiment, if I express, if I integrate, and if I tran uh, transcend. Therefore, I will ascend. We're getting back to the top, back to where we started. And then we have an oracle to end out the reading. So let's get the high or let's get this string right here to figure out what happened and let's go. So started off with apathy, contemplation, disconnectedness. Of course you're disconnected when you burn bridges. You ain't got nowhere to go. It's almost like God needed you to be in one place to learn one thing. And you had to learn it before you move on. So if you feel stuck, there's something for you to learn. And the only reason that you feel you feel so crazy about it is because God has been knocking on your door the whole time and you decided not to learn it. And I know that's kind of harsh, but imagine you're a non-corporeal being because that's what any spirit or anything above that is. It's non-corporeal. It doesn't have a body, a physical body. A non-corporeal being can't actually force you to do anything. But it can only nudge you in the right way. So after all of these slight nudges, now I'm going to put you in one place to learn this one thing. And there's nowhere to go but learn that. The restriction was necessary. <clears throat> it went from there to the star. So hope, faith, rejuvenation. Of course, the idea of being rejuvenated. This is a mental aspect. This is air. Air in a place where you need to be having something to cook also so it's not like you're there but it's not adding anything that you don't need it's almost like having less water to cook less um how should i say it's like not enough energy to go around in order to do what you want spread thin that kind of thing and this is opposite energies of earth so this is something that completely blocks you. The fact that you need to be or felt like you needed to be rejuvenated before you moved on. It's a decision right then and there to move on. And then God will help you rejuvenate. So most of the time it works hand in hand. You can't just expect it to be there in order for you to go. So I went from there and it finished off as earth with the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is from will to Hokmah, technically, which is this circle right here, Hokmah. And that has to do with your will in accordance to your, di your divine alignment. So your path, your want is your path. You're going to go towards what you want, right? So that's the path you take to get there. So the Hierophant speaks of that path. So it says tradition, conformity, morality, and ethics. Traditionally, what works? There, you will figure that out for yourself. It's like saying, all right, let me just stop everything and figure this out so I can move on from here on now, different and new. It's like being done with it, deciding to, you know, intervention almost but a self-inflicted intervention for yourself or with yourself if you talk to yourself you're not crazy you're actually just getting more connected to you who you actually are because it gives your mind something to actually hear when you let the words flow I know that sounds strange because this is where your mind is and this is where your spirit is. And the only way it's connected is through your thoughts. So your thoughts, your mind can interpret your thoughts, right? That's how you would figure it. But when you actually speak it, it's in the ether and that's something else. 
that's something else that your mind can actually interpret. So it's another sense that your mind can hear. So now that that's cleared up, we have the energy coming from the crown to the root. Now we're going to go over the ifs and we're going to start off with... In my previous readings, this is known as the star stream, but it just lined up in this way. So it start us off with experimentation, integration, I mean expression, uh, integration, and then transcendence. Now, what does that mean? Now that you know everything, what can you do with what you know now? So, let's get these cards out, and we're going to talk about it. Affluence and experimentation. Lucky. Karmic path. Past life, and growth. All right, so in regards to what you can experiment with, it's affluence. Now, crazy, this is about wealth. Because this looks like a pinnacle and it's on a pinnacle place. So being lucky comes into play. But luck is coincidence and coincidence is the hand of God. So are you lucky or are you being blessed? So wealth in all forms is available to you now. You are rich on all accounts. Drawing this card invites you to feel the abundant flow of having, having all that you need in the material and spiritual planes. If you are inquiring about a situation or relationship, this certainly indicates that there is much to be experienced here. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. You are being provided for and rewarded for at this time and rewarded at this time. Experiment with, okay, I call it manna. So com a bike compared to a car, which one do you think has more manna? naturally a car you can go many more places with it and you can pack a lot on it you can do a lot more with a car that you can do with a, with a um, bike but you're not flipping up and down with a bike so everything has its benefits so understanding the benefits is what you need to experiment with there are things that do work and there are things that actually work in a masterful way how can you use this and take advantage of it it's an opportunity it's not a burned bridge anymore. And that's funny that came out over here. So moving on to expression, we have lucky. Now, this is emotional. So it's energy in motion. The energy or the idea, the feeling of being lucky is the energy that you need to call on right now. So let's see it. You've got the Midas touch. Everything you touch turns to gold at this time. Enjoy this winning streak. You are enjoy this winning streak you're on. Meditate on this when you need an extra boost of being in the right place at the right time kind of energy. So, yeah, I, I I literally said everything that it was about. Really, there's nothing more just to talk about. But um, there's a saying that coincidence is the hand of God. So that's luck. There you go. Moving on to integration, what you would integrate into your life is karmic path so let's see this has to do with saturn if you need if you want to know karmic lesson learning experience hard work perseverance and structure a new valuable lesson is available to to you at this time this moment requires your, your due diligence pay attention to what's being presented to you have you been down this road before our souls has come to this earth earth school to learn valuable lessons as beings and for the planet what are you being taught right now? This moment may require hard work, but it will have long, many long-lasting rewards. So hard work, right? You are not being punished, but are gaining tools and experience for the living, for living that will be with you for the rest of your life. 
Drawing this card also tells you that the foundation of what you are building is strong and is part of your legacy. I love the word legacy, right? So, long-lasting rewards, better habits, long-lasting rewards, right? It's crazy how I talked about the Earth School, which is what I was talking about before. Um, apparently, we come down here, this dream world, this is a school. We learn about ourselves. And if we go back, and we come back again to learn more about ourselves, different situations, different karmic ties, and different all these other things, we just keep coming down here to learn. It's apparently fun or something like that. But it depends on what you believe, so that's neither here nor there. <clears throat> um, moving on to transcendence, we have past life. How do you transcend? Who you used to be comes into play. That's how you transcend. Where have you grown? How? Take a look at yourself and then look in the past. Are you that same person? Are you a better person in your eye? Are you a better person? Now, what are the benefits? What are the growths? How did you grow? Now, put in, put a focus on that and be like have confidence and courage and those kind of things when it comes up to what you've done and how you've grown. It'll help you. <clears throat> so past life. You are being drawn to sacred spaces, ancient knowledge, past lives, ancient wisdoms, and holy gifts. The connection to your current relationship or situation ha has deep roots and is perhaps much more than you have may anticipated. Dive into ancient wisdom for your answers at this time. Drawing this card can indicate past life connection karmic contracts, vows, commitments, or even feelings of atonement. You can meditate with the pyramid to access ancient magic, create sacred space, welcome informative galactic downloads from the universe, and encourage ascension for your body, mind, and spirit. It's crazy how much this board, these cards talk to the board. It's crazy. <clears throat> because it literally talked about ascension and transcendence right there. So, if you've ever been through a past life regression, or if you feel connected to another part of you that is like dead and gone, bring it up and figure out why that side of you keeps coming out. And therefore, you would transcend it. That's literally what it's saying. So discover who you were and why you were that way to figure out why you are, how you are now, and who you're gonna be. <laughs> I didn't even mess up. <laughs> so, it finished off. So that was I transcend, right? So, coming around full circle, everything that you know, everything that you've learned thus far, we've reached growth. And this is how you ascend, right? A time of evolution and growth is here. You may be leaving behind outdated, antiqu antiquated relationships, mentors, beliefs, systems, situations, or environments. If you are inquiring about a situation or relationship, this card calls for a deeper or com uh, for a deeper commitment or decision to let go in order for you to honor your journey. Draw another card for clarity about which direction to take regarding your situation. This card represents knowing knowing that all will be well and for the highest good. So, growth. It can go this way, right? But the way I just interpreted it was eventually leading to some kind of point. So it's not all for nothing. And it's for the growth. The reason why you come here. Like I said, reincarnation. Depending on what you believe, it's kind of just clarifying for me. It's kind of solidifying my argument. But yeah. So we've now come to the end of the reading and I hope you, if you stayed, I appreciate you heavy, you know, like the reading. This eventually would be an app right on your phone. I figured out a way how to translate this better and more interactive for the whole spiritual community, the esoteric community, all the knowledge, just put it all in there. And I figured out a way how we can all benefit from it. So using the tarot and using all the knowledge that I've gained so far, I hope this was 
I hope this helped you. I hope this gave you a different perspective. You know, that's what I'm here for. If you're able to see differently, you're able to move different. And that means that the devil will have to learn you again. You are a new person, and from here forth, live free like you want to. So with all that said and done, I'm Kafa. Peace.